Hi, I'm Elizabeth and today for no reason, absolutely no reason, I'm going to show you how I cut my bangs. So you need a scissor that's meant for cutting hair first of all, Don't, do not use your paper cutting scissors. After sectioning this hair out, a lot of people just take the bangs and just cut it right through, don't do that. Go in to the midsection first and cut it up to your nose. Once we've cut the middle section, we're going to fan out and go further in and cut it a little bit higher than the last cut. Then we're going to go one more deeper level inside and cut it shorter than the last bit. And now you have like a upside down U. I make sure I take some hair from the back, like from the mid top of my top head and cut it just as much as the front bit but what i'm doing here is i'm taking each level of my hair curl by curl and trimming the last inch maybe half an inch off this way the u that we created earlier is going further down so that it's like a deeper u and it frames my face that way after doing one side of my hair, I do the same to the other side. Try and make a deeper U, curl by curl, taking each curl clump and cutting maybe half an inch and going downwards like that so that it frames my face. Now you can see how it's turning out. Right now the bangs still cover my eyes and that's okay. You want that right now because you're cutting it dry. You want it a little longer than usual because when you style it, it will go shorter. So do not cut it really, really short. Keep it a little bit longer than usual. Now I'm going to show you how I style these bangs so we can see if, if it needs further trimming or not. But first, water. Wet this area. It's been through some kind of trauma right now. So we have to be gentle. And then I'm going to use a mousse. In my other videos, you would have noticed that I use mousse directly on my dry hair. But this particular mousse is really creamy. And so I felt like it would use or it would work better on wet hair. Here's a quick look at the texture again. It's very moussey. It's very thick and smooth in texture. So if you have a mousse like that, that is not runny, then you want to use it with water. After spreading it all over my hair, now I want to use a little tiny bit of gel just to lock in all this and I will use it with water because this particular gel is really thick and sticky so praying hands I'm going to take small tiny sections of my hair and finger coil them as usual this is just out of habit and uh, I want to see how my bangs would look after I finger coil them I had I got a new brush just a few days ago and i had to fight the urge to use a brush right now because right now with the fresh cut the bangs are so vulnerable we can say <clears throat> i don't want to use a brush and manipulate i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking but either way after finger coiling the bang section i am going to diffuse it i cannot wait to see how the bangs look after i have diffused it diffusing is just using a tool that has diffuses the air gently into curls so that the curls dry in a particular shape you can see how it looks now after it's fully dry the longish pieces go and this is how we can further perfect the shape so the first dry cut was just a first draft and then i style and then i cut some more it's looking really good and since i have to go out i figured i will use my new hairspray remember to use hairspray away do a little phoebe there <laughs> remember in friends where phoebe applies the perfume and does that so that's how i use hairspray <laughs> you can use your hairspray however you want to so these are my new bangs and these are this is how i have styled them do you like it let me know